So Benil Daryush is doing interviews and press conferences. It's always interesting whenever you go to like or you're, you're at an event or you're watching uh, press conferences and, and these random fighters do pop up. They usually are like pretty close to having their fight. Maybe it's like a month away. And in this case, it was Benil Daryush. Benil Daryush is obviously he's set, as you probably know, to face Islam Makhachev in uh, sometime February 26th, I believe it is. Um, so he was there doing his his media questions and one thing he said was very very interesting he goes um, Islam Makhachev has never faced somebody uh, that pressures him or pressures him like me sorry I don't I don't remember the exact quote but he was talking about how everybody that he's faced Islam Makhachev that is has not been able to have a well-rounded game and been able to pressure Islam Makhachev just to think of some notable fighters, uh, ranking wise, the best fighter that Islam Makhachev has faced is Dan Hooker. Dan Hooker does not pressure you in, this, in the sense that uh, Benil Daryush is referring to. Another fighter that uh, Islam has faced recently is Thiago Moises. Thiago Moises is a counter fighter who is really good at Jiu Jitsu. He's not going to pressure you or he won't do it at the level that say Benil Daryush would. Uh, another one. Uh, let's let's go for another one. Uh, Armand Saryukin. Armand Saryukin, when he faced Islam Makhachev, is a completely different fighter than what he is today. I'm not discounting Armand Saryukin at all. He's a very, very good fighter. I could see him in the top five in the next couple of years, no doubt. But at the time that Islam faced him, he's not. he wasn't at the level that Benil Daryush, Benil Daryush is currently when, this, when you're talking about pressure. Now, the pressure is going to be a very, very uh, big topic in this in this whole lead up to this fight. Islam Makhachev is a completely different fighter than Khabib. I hate when they talk about Khabib and and the Islam uh, Makhachev comparisons. Islam Makhachev goes for trips. Khabib doesn't really go for trips. He, he gets you against the cage and he takes you down. Islam Makhachev counter strikes. He stays back and he he's very very conservative with his striking. His standout is is arguably much better than Khabib's. Different style, different style, but much better from a tactical standpoint, counter striking standpoint. Khabib is much more in your face, and he uses his striking to lead into his his takedowns. So he put pressures you uh, back, to, uh, so your back is to the cage, takes you down, and does his does his thing, does his smashing. Is that on the other hand? He doesn't do that. He will counter strike and he'll use his striking to, to trip you, to close the distance whenever he sees it's fit. Those, those two comparisons, those two fighters, Islam and Khabib are completely different. Now, when you bring in Benil Daryush into the equation, Benil Daryush is not the fastest fighter. He's not the most technical fighter. He is probably, you, you could probably look at all of his attributes and say, he is not necessarily the best at one single thing. He is what he said himself, a complete fighter. He can strike from range, he can kick, he can grapple, he can clinch, he can do everything. He can he can uh, j play jiu-jitsu on the ground, he can do everything. And that's somebody that you, we haven't really seen Islam Akshev face. What happens when Islam Akshev is facing Benil Daryush who's pressuring him and he's not able to use his counter striking or use his traditional grappling that he would for all these other fighters and it doesn't work what happens and that's the most interesting thing about this fight to me a lot of people are, have, have already written off Benil Daryush he I, I, I understand why his striking is not the best Benil Daryush when you get him in the pocket he tends to grab for, for your hands, he eats a lot of feints. Um, one of the big things that, the, that people bring up is uh, Benil versus Edson Barbosa. If you go back and look at that fight, what happens was uh, is uh, Benil Darush does the same thing over and over again. He, I believe it was a jab, and then from the jab he, he would go for, for, for a takedown. And he would do that over and over and over again, to the point where Edson Barbosa picked up on this. So every time, or the, the I guess it was the last time because he won by knockout. Every time, or the last, again, every, the, the last time where Benil Darius jabs and goes for the takedown, Edson Barbosa already knows that that takedown is coming. 
and he jumps up with a flying knee, which led to the KO. So people are, are bringing up that situation and saying, well, you know, Dariush is one dimensional. He's not the best at anything. Plus, he's very, very predictable. When you match up Benil Dariush with a guy that's so dynamic in Islam Akshev, it's no match. It doesn't matter that Benil Dariush comes forward and pressures and, and, and initiates the grappling and uses his power to, to, to impose his will, both in the grappling and in the striking department. But in my opinion, it does matter. Benil Dariush is not going to knock you down. He's not going to knock you out. But he does have power that makes you react. It gets you to, to move backwards. It gets you to stumble. It gets you to rethink your game plan. And that's the most interesting thing about this fight. The most interesting thing about this fight is how does a traditional technical fighter that is primarily counter-striking deal with a guy that has no recourse when it comes to moving forward? Benio Dariush is moving forward with the intention, with the, with the knowledge that if I come too close, there's a possibility that I get taken down and I'm okay with that. I'm okay that if, if I get too close and Islam trips me, I'm good. On the ground, I feel very, very stable. I very, feel very, very confident in my game to be able to stay there and not lose the fight. I can stand back up and continuously apply my pressure until the point that I win the fight. This buildup is going to be very, very interesting. That's something that I'm very, very curious about when it comes to fight night. And we'll talk about this more. We're going to do a like an analysis video on that TV. TV's off right now, but I, I have footage from the fight. We're going to go over it. Uh, instances where both guys excel and and openings that, 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 that are possibly there. Uh, but for now, let me know down in the comments below what do you think. Well, how, how does Islam, with his style, deal with a guy that constantly pressures? There's other opponents I don't want to downplay. Downplay Islam's uh, previous opponents. They are very, very good, a lot of them. But on the level of Benil Dariush and his game, I don't think Islam has ever faced anybody. Or at least that I uh, of my knowledge. Let us know down in the comments below.